What's you guys? Welcome to Game Tate. Today I'm going to show you how you can use a plugin for OBS called a Move Transition to do things like this. Or how we can go from this over to this. This is all using a plugin called the Move Transition by a guy called Exeldra. I'm going to head over now. I'm going to show you how to do it. So OBS standard doesn't really, it has its own transitions, but it doesn't have a move one. It has a, a cut, a swipe, a slide, etc. So what we want to do is head over to a browser and we're going to type in OBS move transition and you'll see transition comes up and then we're going to head over here and click this link here and that will take us over to the OBS forums and then what we're looking for is move transition by Exceldro. And then if you come down, it tells you about how to install it. And there's a little video on there that shows you about setting it up, etc. Now you come up here, click download. Now there's the installer exe up here, or the zip, which is the one we're going to do. So you download that into your downloads folder, and then just drag it out, right click it, extract it into its own folder. And then when you open that folder up, you'll see there's two parts to it. Click on the data. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy the data and we're going to go over to where we keep our OBS studio which is C program files and come down and look for OBS studio and then we're going to go to the data file and we're just going to paste that data one in there right click it paste it job done and then we go back to the other two files that came with it and once you open them you just want to copy those and then again, back to OBS Studio. So C, Program Files, OBS Studio. And then if we go into the Plugins folder, into the 64-bit, and then just paste those into there. And it's as simple as that. Then when you go back after an OBS restart, you'll see that when you click is your move transition. So to show you this working, I'm going to add in a scene called Test. We're going to come down to OBS. Click on here, add a scene called test, and then what we need is to add a source. We're going to come up, I'm going to add my sources in as a scene, but you would add in your camera. I'm just going to add in an existing one, and there I am, that's me back. So that's one scene we've created now, and we'll just lock that down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create another scene called test two. And in that, we will create a scene called ETS Dash. Now, if we flip between the two, if you look on your OBS, you'll see here that you've got your scene transition and it's set on move because you've just added that. So what you want to do to set this up is just click on there and open up the properties. And that brings you to this page. Here, you can make adjustments. You can have it easing in and out ease in ease out all on the website it does tell you how to do all this you can have it zoom when it comes in there's also different functions or quadratic circular all, di all different types of movements so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set mine up at the moment as you can see my position is the bottom right and that's where it will disappear to the bottom right and then above it you have your it appears from the bottom left so if we were to preview the transition you can see that it enters in from the bottom left goes out via the bottom right they're all changeable you can make it go out from the top center or and still come in from the bottom left all of these can be moved to exactly how you want them. Now, if you use this curve, if you have it going this way, it makes it curve inwards. So when it, I don't know if you saw that, it went up and then suddenly shot right. I tend to leave mine set on zero because I find it easier to just be dead straight in and out. 
And if you put this to the right hand side, it will do the opposite and it will start curving out. As I say then there is a thing all on this on the uh, plugins page that you can take a look at. And then lastly, you can also change the duration. So we could change that to 2000, which is basically two seconds. And then our duration between this and this one will be that little bit slower. Can you see how it comes in from the bottom left? It goes out via the bottom right. And that's what you do is you just go on your properties and adjust them, make it a bit better for yourself. There's a plugin called a transition table, which I will go on to because at the moment everything is set on this move transition. If I was to use that, if you see, if I click on my tools, I've got a thing called a transition table and there's all the different transitions that I can use there. So that's a different video though. That is how you set up your move transition for OBS. I uh, hope you've uh, found this helpful and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now, guys.